Welcome to Science Investigators, the show where our investigation team answers all your science-related questions. This week, we're in Darndale National School. Coming up on today's show... <laughs> we meet our investigators bending and bouncing light. And do you see what I see? The scientists research optical illusions. Now it's time to meet our investigators. <laughs> I love reading and gymnastics and I also love science. Hi, my name is Evan and I play football and I like running and I love science. My name is Emma, I'm 10 years old and I love to do dance and gymnastics and I also love science. Hi, my name is Jake, I love running and football and I love science. <laughs> Hands up who hates their homework. Me. I wonder what our question for this week is going to be. Oh, here's oh our question! Oh, if it's hard, I'm not going to be able to do it. Do your eyes always tell you the truth? No. Mm -hmm. Well, well, your eyes don't always tell you the truth because when you're looking at optical illusions, another way you think it's there's nothing there, but yeah. when you look really closely, there is. Yeah. So it's my. And I wonder, does it have anything to do with speed of light? Because like, I, I think your eyes always do tell the truth. Okay, so you just want to go ask the other investigators what they think. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Woo! Come on. Okay, scientist, I, ha I have a question for the week today. Do your eyes always tell you the truth? Does anybody have any ideas? Joshua. Well, I think when you're in the desert and then you're like starving and like and thirsty, you see like these illusions where you think there's like actually food, but there's actually none there, so that's good. Um, you know when you're watching a scary movie and I see people, you think there's people over in the shadow and it's just shadows. That's what, that's my answer. Oh yeah, I never thought of that. So, Sophie? I was thinking maybe optical illusions where like there's squares or circles on a page and if you look at them from a certain angle they're moving. Yeah, but they're not really like... They're all really good answers and I think we should do some research. As the light travels from one ma material to another, it refracts or bends. This causes the arrows to look like they are now facing the opposite direction. Light travels slower through water than air. As the light enters the water, it changes direction, which makes it look like the pencil is bent. Bending laser light. For this experiment, you will need... You will need a bottle of water. A deep tray. A laser pen, mask and tape. Fill your bottle with water. Get an adult to poke a hole in the bottle. We use a skewer. 
Shine the laser through the back of the bottle through the hole. The light bends with the water. This is very cool. When the laser beam hits the water stream coming out of the bottle, the light gets reflected inside the stream. This makes it look like the light is bending. Great research, everybody. I think we need to call in an expert. Coming up on Science Investigators, follow along with our optical illusions and we meet Tracy Cassidy, our light expert. Each week on Science Investigators, we're going to visit Darndale National School, where the sixth class students have been given a very special challenge. Can you build me a rocket, please? Josh had the idea to make Tia someone's fruit shoe ball. <laughs> we tried three or four different things with the fruit shoe ball, but we couldn't get it to work. We were pretty disappointed. We want to get a stronger fuel, so we mixed bacon, soda and vinegar to make a chemical reaction. This is deadly. <laughs> Great stuff, scientists. But I wonder how you can use that to make a rocket. We find out next time. Hi, I'm Tracy. I'm from Junior Einstein Science Club. And I love to bring really cool, fun, hands-on science to classrooms with Irish school kids. So here's what we're going to do today, guys. First, we're going to look at some amazing illusions. You won't believe your eyes, and we'll see how your eye tricks your brain and also how your brain can trick your eye. This is an illusion where your mind is tricking your brain into thinking that something is bigger or smaller. So where your mind instantly just thinks this one's smaller than this one. In this picture there's a vase and a man's hat and a, ma and a person. If you look real closely you can see a woman standing at our door and if you look and if you look at that man's face, you can see a man playing his ukulele. When your brain sees the square A, it's grey and this one's white. But because it's shaded by this one, if you look like you look at the A and you instantly think it's got to be a pattern, so this one has to be white. But then when you look at the A and then you look at the B, the B changes into that colour. Does our eyes always turn through? Well, we talked today about illusions and we talked about how your eye tricks the brain. So what do you think? You know sometimes if you look at a really, really bright light and then you look away at something else. The, the bright light picture is still on your eye. And you know when you watch a cartoon, there are lots of different pictures that are really still, but your brain puts them all together. For this experiment, you will need two white pieces of paper and make sure they're both the same size. You will also need colours to draw. Draw two images, one on one sheet of paper and the other one on the next. Then stick the sheets together with the chopstick in the middle. Then you should see this thing starting to appear like the goldfish in the fishbowl. Why when you stare at an image, why does it stay in the back of your brain? We talked about looking at something for a long time and then looking away at a, at a white wall and you still see the picture. That's because on the back of your eye, you have a very thin layer of cells and that's called your retina. And that's made up of two types of cells called rods and cones. Here's an image for you to stare at. Look at it for 20 seconds. Try to relax your eyes when you're looking at this. Now 20 seconds are up. Now look at a plane surface. What do you see? When I did this, I saw the American flag in colours. Well done, investigators. We've solved the question, do your eyes always tell the truth? Yeah! <laughs> Coming up next time on Science Investigators, the gang get the question for the week. 
They do some research on magnets and how to make your own compass. So tune in for that.